Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are looking at this pattern here, the daisy in the corner square. So I am, as you know by now probably, I am yarn bombing my cushions in my sitting room. I have quite a few cushions so I decided I wanted to try this pattern. I've been wanting to try this for ages. So I finally did it um, and I only needed nine for my cushion. I have sewn them, oh, I have crocheted better them together. Um, you will be able to find out how I did this in another video because I used the same technique for another cushion. So you can go and have a look there. Then I did a couple of extra rows just to make it the size. Look, my cushion is underneath. So I might still have to make a couple of uh, or one row I think extra but I've just cut it off for now because I am um, as usual I still haven't decided what I'm going to do for the back um, I know it's going to involve the same colors here the background colors so once I've decided that um, I will put it all together and of course I will make a video on that so you can see what I did on the back because it will be different. So anyway, let's get started on this daisy in the corner square. So let's take a look at the colours. First of all, we have buttermilk, white, lavender, violet and meadow. Here we I used cloud blue and lapis and I've put it all together with parchment. So let's get started on our daisy. So first of all, we need the yellow, so the buttermilk, and we are going to do a magic circle. I do that by crossing it over my fingers like so. I then go under this one, and I pick up the back one, and I bring it through. Then I go back to the back one, and and I do a chain. Then I take it off my fingers and that is my magic circle in which I am going to work and I am going to do eight single crochets in there and that's single crochets in US terms. In UK terms that is a double crochet. So let's count the V's, two, four, six, seven. And the eighth one I am going to create by making my slip stitch. So this one here is the first V. This one is my chain, which I am going to cover up with my slip stitch like this. Then <clears throat> I'm going to chain up and I am going to <clears throat> do two single crochets in each stitch around. Now that chain up does not count as a stitch so make sure you go round and in each stitch you do two single crochets or better in UK terms they are double crochets. Now, as you can see, my circle is quite big, <clears throat> but of course, you can close it up because it's a magic circle. So here we are. Look, I can pull it and now it's closed. And now we are going to do a slip stitch. So we must make sure we have 16 V's, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, but my V is going to be one, so I'm going to skip one here and lay that over that first stitch. So I only have 16 Vs. There we go. And now it's time to get the white. And we are going to attach with a standing stitch. So that means I make my slip knot. I put it round my hook. And I am going to do a double crochet. Or a standing double crochet to get myself started into any V. 
that you go under so just choose any V you go under it and you do your double crochet just like this okay there now you are going to do another four double crochets into that same stitch so double crochet in US terms is a treble crochet in UK terms and it's yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, you've done five double crochets in the first stitch that you are working in. Next, you are going to pull up your loop, take out your hook and you go back to that first double crochet that you did. You go under the V you put the loop back on the hook and you pull it through the first stitch that you did. Then you are going to chain three. Now we are going to skip one stitch. So make sure you check which is the one that you were working in. This is the one that you are going to skip and of course it's awkward now because this is where we finished but this is the one where I'm going to go in and I am going to do five double crochets into that same stitch nope, something split there oh dear let's try again So I have five double crochets and we do the same thing again. If you're not sure which one you're going to go under, you just count back one, two, three, four, five into the fifth one. You go in and you loop the, the loop around your hook again and you pull it through. You chain one, two, three. You skip a stitch and you do the same thing. So you should have, in the end, you should have eight white petals. So I will see you at the end of the round where you have done your eight petals. So I've come to the end of my round. I've done my three chains and I am just going to find somewhere Hopefully that sort of first chain we did here to go under and do a slip stitch. It doesn't, you know, if you can't find it just anywhere around here is fine. So you cut off your wool and you pull it through and there we go. So I've now got a little daisy and I have eight petals. So now we are ready to get started with our lavender. So once again, I like to start with a standing stitch. So I do my slip, slip knot and I am going to look on the back of my flower because that's where we are going to find the places where we're going to work around. So the chain three spaces that we did earlier, those are the ones that we are going to work in. OK, so let's get started. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is one double crochet done. And as we are doing a granny square with clusters, we are going to do three. So this is the first cluster done. But just so that we know where we are, I always turn this into a corner. So two chains and another three double crochets into that same space. So now we know where we are. We've done a corner. Now we are going to do a side. So into the next space and you are doing three double crochets in there. Into the next space you do a corner. 
So that means you're going to do three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets. So this is what you are going to repeat. So you're going to repeat making a corner and then making a side. And then you'll have to make a corner again, a side, a corner and a side. And I will meet you at this corner here. I have now come to the end of my round. I am going to skip this standing stitch because that just closes up for me. Then I go into the second stitch here and I do a slip stitch and that slip stitch becomes the top of that standing crochet then. So here we are. We've got a daisy and we've got a tiny square for the daisy to sit in. Now, if you were to just work in circles around it, you'll just have a daisy in the middle of your square. So what we want to do is put the daisy in the corner. So let's try and do that. Once again, I am going to start with a standing stitch so I make my slip knot and I am going to get started in a corner okay so yarn over into the corner here and we are going to do a double crochet a second one and a third one so really that is what all we're going to do in there then we are going to do clusters along the side. So that's clusters of three double crochets into in between the clusters of the previous round. Now I meet a corner, so I'm going to make a corner. A corner is three double crochets two chains and three double crochets now again we are at the side so we do some clusters for the side and the second one here and now we are in the corner but this time we are just going to do three double crochets into that corner and this is where we are not going to continue here but we are going to turn and continue on the same side where we have already done this violet so let's do three or two chains. I do three chains and you put three double crochets in between the clusters from the previous row. So there we have turned. And again, we are now doing sides. So just three double crochets into the next opening and here three double crochets in there. You are now at a corner so we do a corner and two chains and three double crochets. There we go and once again we're starting a side so you are going to do just three double crochets, clusters of three double crochets in between the clusters from the previous round. And one here. And now here at the end, 
at this start we started with just the chains which represent a double crochet just a single double crochet so here I go into the top of that standing stitch and I just do a double crochet to finish the round and that has made that we did this side twice so now our daisy is no longer in the middle but it's on the side now we are going to do the meadow I've got a little bit left so let's try and do that again I am doing a slip knot insert my hook and really I do the same thing again I start where I finished here okay make sure you put in your end because then it will be easier to work there and you yarn over wait a minute what's happening here yeah yarn over into there and you do the same thing as with the first violet row you do three double crochets and then you go into the next one to do also three double crochets and like I said if you have sewn this in this hole will be slightly smaller and look better I will do that in a moment when I stop filming because I I'm on a roll here <laughs> so this is um, the design I came up with I sort of like the light and the dark and then the green and here we are in a corner so we are going to do a corner there we go okay and up we go again now <clears throat> I really like this square and when I was putting my cushion cover together I very much enjoyed it but make sure that you put all your daisies in the right corner uh, that you, <laughs> when you're putting it together so keep an eye out for that because I nearly had one face in the other way <laughs> so yep it happens so there we go okay so now I need to do another row here but I'm sure you know how I'm going to do that so just do the chains and then turn it and then do my clusters again now once I had done this okay I then did not put the parchment round because I used the parchment to put it together with so I just kept my squares as they were like this and then I put the parchment round when I was ready to start joining them so I am at the moment I am still thinking about what I'm going to do for the back of my um, cushion so the moment I have decided that I will of course share it with you and make a video so I hope you enjoyed this little square Thank you very much for watching and do try it out. See you in the next video. Bye.